the CES van der Have Innovation Center, we develop the sugar beet varieties of the future. Currently, developing a new sugar beet variety takes up to 10 years. At the CES van der Have Innovation Center, however, we can speed up that process. One of the tools to make that happen is our automation line. This is where our selection story begins. The seed trays are filled with nets and each tray is given a unique identification number. The machine fills the trays with potting soil and proceeds to make holes in them. Each seed tray is registered in the computer system and then linked to a bag of seeds. Those seeds are manually sewn into the sewing tray. Meanwhile, the crane system places an empty transport table on the rails of the automation line. This empty table is then filled with the seeded trays, after which the trays are once again scanned one by one. Double check. The sown seeds are now ready for their journey through the SVIC. This allows us to closely monitor the trajectory of the future sugar beet plants on the automation line. A couple of days later, the germinated seeds present themselves again in the workshop to be transplanted by the transplanting robot. It detects the young plants and puts them in a new tray. From now on, each plant is also attached to its place in the tray and has its own ID number. The newly assembled tray goes back to the greenhouse. A couple of days later, it is expected in the workshop again. Then a leaf sample is taken from each plant. The leaf samples are put into corresponding tubes and subsequently go to the lab for DNA analysis. When a plant has died, this is carefully marked in the computer. After sampling, the plants go back into the greenhouse for a couple of days. Once the lab results are available and the breeders have made their selection, the selected plants are further bred to go into fertilization.